The other thing that I tell people all the time, this is a big one, this comes up in dog training in general, is a lot of times practicing this technique, we as humans have a tendency to only do this kind of turn when we know the dog is not paying attention, right? So essentially we're only doing it when we know the dog is gonna fail. The problem with that is inherently anything that we're doing when it comes to our obedience with corrections, even though there's definitely like a, a punishment aspect to this, there's almost always a negative reinforcement component, right? When he does the right thing, the consequence doesn't happen, right? That's what encourages the correct response. We miss this all the time as dog owners and dog trainers. So what happens is, every time I make this kind of tight pivot, the dog fails and hits the end of the leash, right? So he never actually gets to learn that walking right here and paying attention wins the game. It's the repetitions where the dog successfully avoids the consequence that actually reinforce the behavior we want, right? That's what anchors in the correct response. If your overall goal is I want the dog to pay attention to me and to walk at my side on a slack leash, then you have to let the dog practice doing that and having it be successful where the, the other strategy failed, right? If I never let him do that, if I never do these pivots and drop the slack when I know he's gonna win, he's got no reason to keep trying to do that because he doesn't know if it's actually effective or not because even though he went for the walk and maybe half of the walk he was doing beautiful, he still got corrected every time he pivoted because we're only pivoting when the dog's not paying attention, right? So once the dog starts to get it, once you start seeing the behavior you want, which should come quick, keep throwing in a lot of pivots purposefully to let the dog win the game. That's what builds the dog's confidence up Right? That's when you can have a dog that even though they got a decent correction, they feel totally confident on the walk because they know the strategy that works. But you've got to let them practice that. You've got to let the dogs rehearse success. It's so incredibly important. And it's not just true with this. It's with everything that we do in our obedience training or with negative reinforcement in general. Right? We see this come up a lot.